What's going on, my horror friends? This is Tommy Knocker, the horror guy, coming at you. And today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'm going to take a little look at the Halloween TV specials and movies that I love. Every year around this time, I have to watch these. It's a must. Okay? Some of these are from my childhood. Some are newer. But they're in my rotation. I have to watch these around Halloween time. It's a must. I just have to. Okay? Now, do they even play Halloween specials anymore? Like, like you know, I like on cable late at night or you know, the regular shows that play like this show's not going to be playing tonight because of a special presentation and it's like Garfield or Charlie Brown do they even do that anymore do they play Charlie Brown anymore I don't know I don't have cable and this it's sad it just doesn't seem like kids really fully celebrate Halloween like like we used to back in the day I think adults look forward to Halloween more it's less stressful than Christmas it's an, it's an escape you know, from reality, you can have fun, you dress up, and just, your mind goes off to the other movies and Halloween specials, it's just, a, I don't know, it's a cozy feeling, you know what I mean? And that's what these Halloween movies are, some are scary on these, some are family, but I have to watch these. And please comment, guys, please comment the ones that you like. I don't care what they are. And sometimes these channels, they just put on anything and just say it's Halloween. Like, if we got a Halloween marathon, like ABC Family Channel, whatever the hell it's called now. They'll have a marathon of movies, you know, and then they'll throw in, like, Harry Potter. How the fuck is that Halloween? That's not Halloween, guys. Uh -uh. I hate that shit. Okay, so here we go. It's, it's not a top ten. There's no order. I'm just going to talk really quick about each one. And, uh, yeah, so let me know yours, too. First one I want to talk about, I was, this 1998, wow, this came out, I was babysitting my niece and nephew, they had on the Disney Channel, and this movie came on, and I fell in love with it right away, I get it, it's Halloween Town, right, Halloween Town, the Cromwell sisters, like I said, it's got that cozy Halloween feeling, you know, the giant pumpkin, there's an evil entity in the town, uh, they're trying to find out who it is, uh, the, co you know, the, the, the the effects, the costumes are a little bit cheesy, but that's the part of the charm. That's part of the charm. I don't really like the sequel. Part two is okay, but the rest of the sequels were, were, were trash. It, it just got silly. You know, Halloween 1 and 2 is where it's at, especially the first one. So Halloween Town, guys. 1980. That, I gotta watch that every year. It's a must. Okay, next one. Okay, you gotta watch this on YouTube. It is on YouTube. They don't play it anymore. You, they, they, and that's sad. And that is Looney Tunes. I forgot what the what the one is particularly called. I think it's called Halloween, or something like something like that. Looney Tunes Halloween guys. It's the, you know the ones. It's they had the Bugs Bunny, and he's in Transylvania, <laughs> in Dracula. Right, and he's and when he says abracadabra, he turns into a bat, and then when he says hocus pocus, he turns normal. So you know he, he's a little bat. You know he's he's a he, he's a human, and he's got like a brick he's about to hit Bugs Bunny with, and then he says abracadabra, whatever, and he turns into a bat. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I love Looney Tunes, guys. I could watch it all day, but yeah, then there was um, Tweety Bird was Jekyll and Hyde. Remember that he was he kept getting big and scaring Sylvester and chasing Sylvester. Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel is probably like my favorite witch of all time, other than the Wicked Witch of the West. But I, I, Looney Tunes, guys. Uh, and the most underrated one people always forget about, I think, is the Porky Pig uh, and Scaredy Cat. Porky Pig and Sylvester the Cat, you know, Haunted House. It's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. I definitely recommend Looney Tunes. Check that one out. Okay. Again. This has been on since 1990, and they get better each year. At least I think so. There's not one movie they haven't made fun of yet. I have to watch... I don't have to have to watch a marathon, because there's too many episodes, but I at least have to watch a few. You know what I mean? And that is The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Yeah, I gotta watch a few of those every year. My favorite one is The Raven, when Bart was The Raven, and then he was, when he was a zombie. Um, I really like the one where he's a he's a conjoined, a conjoined twin, evil twin, uh, Marge in the Salem Witch Trials, uh, but uh, the janitor was uh, Freddy Krueger in the episode, you know, and, uh, you got, yeah, Treehouse of Horror is a must for me every year, Tr Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Okay, the next one's a movie. And I'm not going to go into the obvious ones. I'm not going to say Halloween, you know, with Michael Myers. That's, of course, you have to watch that. Friday the 13th, Diamond on Elm Street, Trick or Treat, you know, movies like that. That's that's a must, yes. But I'm going to go with a werewolf movie 
Yes, not American Werewolf in London. Nope. I have to watch Silver Bullet. Okay? I, it, I have to. <laughs> yes, it is my favorite werewolf movie. Props to American Werewolf in London. Nothing comes close to that werewolf transformation in the actual werewolf itself. I bow down to it. Absolutely. But I just like Silver Bullet better. I like the story. I like how it's a small town. And, uh, you know, that's typical Stephen King setting. And, you know, it's a... Everybody knows everybody, and uh, there's a curfew, and, you know, the kids are all playing with the playground. The mom grabs the kid and says, you got to come inside. I love shit like that. I love it. Uh, yeah, the werewolf is rough. <laughs> I won't lie. It, it, he doesn't look too good. He looks more like a bear. It, it was very weird, but it's not really about that for me. Um, spoiler, you know, I think you know who the werewolf is. I mean, they kind of ruin it with a dream sequence, I think. They, if they didn't have that dream sequence... I don't, it would have shocked you more. I think it was too obvious. Like, why are they focusing on him? He wasn't even a main character. You know who it is. I'm not going to say his name because just in case there's that one person that hasn't seen it yet. Okay. But yeah. Silver Bullet. Corey Haim. You have to watch it. Silver Bullet. Okay, next. Kong goes with the Looney Tunes one. And that is Disney's Halloween Treat. This played in 1982, and it played every year for a while, and then it just disappeared. It's on YouTube, yes, but it's 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 sad. And I tell you what, <laughs> Madame Mim scares me, guys. She used to scare the shit out of me. That little sequence that they have in this one, in Sword in the Stone, scared the shit out of me. She, just her, her laugh, the battle, it, her battle with Merlin that kept changing into animals. Classic. You know, it's not... It could just say, how is that Halloween-y? I don't know. It was in the Disney Halloween tree. It's from Sword in the Stone. It just fits. You know what I mean? It fits for me. And then you have the Fantasia, you know, that scene, the, the dancing skeletons, um... There's the Donald Duck one where there's an escaped gorilla <laughs> from Rock and Ridge. Uh, the escaped gorilla one. Uh, the Donald Duck and his nephews, they're dressed up. Remember, as the ghost and skeleton and the devil. Classic, right? And then the, the talking pumpkin is the narrator. Uh, Disney's Halloween tree. And yeah, that's the must every year. A lot of memories with that one. And, that, and going along with that is one of my favorite ever Halloween cartoons and it's it's a short one and that is Sleepy Hollow with Ichabod Crane oh yeah oh yeah everything about this they got right um and that I'm gonna transfer that right there good segue to the movie Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow yes I have to watch this every October um Johnny Depp uh, Christopher Walken was the Headless Horseman, Christina Ricci, it's got the creepiest setting, uh, it just, there's everything about it, screams Halloween, and it's still, I know, it's, it's right around the corner, it's right around the corner, but I keep dragging my fucking feet, I want to go to Sleepy Hollow, I know there's probably not a lot there, but I need to go, I want to see the bridge, I want to, you know, go to the little shops, I want to go to the farmer's market, I don't give a fuck, I need to go to Sleepy Hollow, it's not that far from me, <sighs> It's a goal. So, piggybacking off that, there is a very obscure movie that is... It's called The Hollow. Okay? Um, it's... I, I want to say is an... I think it's an ABC Family movie, to be honest with you. I'm not completely sure. Um, it's, 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 it's not, like, too... Don't, when I say ABC Family Channel, don't think it's like, oh, cheesy, uh, lovey-dovey. No, 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 no. Uh, it's dark, you know? Uh, Nick Carter's in it. Kaylee Kuko from Big Bang Theory. Um, again, the actual Headless Horseman's kind of rough, but again, it's it's part of that charm. The atmosphere is... I, I love the atmosphere, you know? it's They're on a haunted hayride, and there's things going around, and everyone's scared on the haunted hayride. I love stuff like that. I love it. That's what makes a Halloween movie to me, is the atmosphere, the setting. It doesn't have to have all these kills and blood everywhere. Uh, that's fun too and I, I do like those but you know when you really appreciate horror movies like this it's it's okay to take time off and just get away from that and just watch something enjoyable you know what I mean with your with your Halloween movies nothing wrong with that okay so that's moving on to another cartoon that they don't play anymore they just don't play it and that's 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 a shame that's a shame that's Garfield's Halloween adventure Garfield guys come on him and o him and Odie as pirates and, and tell you right now the old man in the cabin that's another character that used to scare the shit out of me I don't care it's there's definitely some scenes in this though it's like 
It's not totally uh, just laughs and giggles. There's some scary scenes in this. You know, the, the ghost pirates is creepy. You know, Garfield and Odie hiding in the cabin over there and they find him after Odie sneezes. That was scary. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I used to watch it with my son. And when he used to show the old man, you know, the reveal at the, in the front of the fireplace, my son would run and hide. He would run. When he, he knew that part was coming, he'd run and hide. He didn't want to see it. The old man creeped him out. I don't blame him. Next one, Beetlejuice. Guys, come on. You got to watch Beetlejuice. Absolutely. And I found out that's not too far. The actual house is in Vermont. That's not too far from me either. That's another one of those uh, I should really go to. Tim Burns Beetlejuice, guys. This one plays every, you know, every channel plays this, and that's fine. But yeah, it's a must. I gotta, I gotta watch that. And another movie, another one that plays all the time, all year round, really. But it's just a little bit mm, around this time. It's just more special to me. And that's Ghostbusters. Yep. Not so much two. I don't mind two, but it's Ghostbusters one. You, I gotta watch Ghostbusters one. I gotta get my Slimer. I gotta get my Egon in. It's a must. Okay, two left. Two left. There's so much more. I, I can't name every single one, but these are the ones that mean the most to me. And then in this movie, I didn't think I'd like this movie. Okay, his previous movies were okay. I, I enjoyed them, but when I heard there was a Halloween movie, I'm just kind of like rolling my eyes. I'm like, okay, sure. I, I don't know where I watched it or who I was with, but I fell in love with one of the most fun. The effects were amazing stories i had a, I had a great plot sure it's silly that's the point and that's Ernest scared stupid it is probably non it is it is no it's it is my favorite non-horror halloween movie absolutely you know what i mean it's close to horror but it's not Ernest scared stupid i think it's better than hocus pocus i said it okay hocus pocus is on the list too Hocus Pocus, I forgot. Hocus Pocus. Um, just getting into Hocus Pocus, and then I'll get back to Ernest Scared Stupid. Um, I I don't I don't know if I'm excited for Hocus Pocus two here uh, coming up here in a few weeks. I'm definitely curious. I'm curious. You know what I mean? I'm like, I won't say I'm as excited. Um, I'm I'm very um, I'm intrigued to see how it's gonna do. I have my doubts, but I have doubts with a lot of things, and it turns out to be good. So. Um, I hope it surprises us, and I, uh, cause that's, that, those are big shoes to fill. Hocus Pocus, it's been 30 years. 30 years, and a lot of times when they wait that long for a sequel, I mean, other than Top Gun Maverick, that's, you know, but this is Hocus Pocus here, so. We'll see. I mean, it's the original three, so that's a plus. That's a plus. I, I guess you don't really need the original kids now that they're growing up. I would prefer it that way. You know, having... I don't know. You know, I haven't heard much about the plot of this. They could they could make an appearance. I'm sure one of them will at least make an appearance, right? Especially at the end. I can see this having a, like a little uh, end credit scene with, you know, maybe Thora Birch at the end or something. Right? Who knows? So, yeah, back to Ernest Scared Stupid. Yeah, my favorite uh, non-horror Halloween movie. It's so much fun. And the guys that did the puppets uh, in this movie... Puppets. The effects in this movie... The trolls did Killer Clowns from Outer Space, you know? Yeah. They did Fritters. The Chioda Brothers. That's their name. Very impressive movie. Ernest Scared Stupid is so much fun. Oh my god, a troll going around turning kittens into wooden dolls for their soul? Sign me up. I'm hooked. I'm in. It's a fun ride. Ernest Scared Stupid. And the last thing that I have to watch every year around Halloween... I have the DVD, and that's fine. And it's sad. I'll watch it on DVD, but there's something just more special about watching it on live TV when it comes out. And I'm going to check, because I don't even know if they play this anymore on TV late at night. On CBS. It was always on CBS, and that is the great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. That is the godfather of Halloween specials to me. <laughs> it is the OG godfather. The great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. And, uh... What do I have to say about the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown? It's great. Uh, so there you have it, guys. Those are the Halloween TV specials and movies that I have to watch around this time. I just have to. Please, again, comment. Let me know your specials that you love in the movies that you need to watch every single year by yourself or with your spouse. You know, the bloody, gory ones or the ones where they sit down with the kids and the family ones. I don't care. All of them. Let me know, guys. All right. See you next time.